hey it's next week and you're back thanks for coming back friend um let's continue talking about binge eating disorder and how i kind of came out of it by accident <laughs> So, as you remember in the past video, in the previous video, I started to, I'm now a freshman year in college, I started to give myself the grace and the allowance to just eat whatever I wanted in a balanced way that that mental form of restriction dissipated. Therefore, the binge eating that I experienced in high school dissipated naturally. And I was very active because I was an ROTC, trained to go to the army. And then as a result, I'm now back in the 160s. Haven't seen that number on the scale since I was 11 at that point. <laughs> so that's what we talked about previously, right? So now I wanna talk about the actual pivotal moment in my life when I realized that I had, had, I don't like to claim things. That's why I put the quotation marks. I was struggling with binge eating disorder that it had a name i'm like i have this problem maybe i'm just this is just me so fast forward um to about 2011 2012 i'm back in atlanta i was in school um freshman year away to school in savannah i'm back in atlanta and I finally get to the point where, you know, I'm, I'm working. I move out on my own, I get my first apartment, you know, I'm like 21, oh snap. And um, I'm no longer in that environment of being really busy on campus and being very, very active. Like I was running two miles a day with ROTC every other day. So I'm back at home. I'm back in Atlanta. I move out, get my own place. Things shift. Remember in the previous video, I told you about that mindset. It's very important. So what happened was, in a nutshell, I started to feel the pressure and the weight of adulting. <laughs> I had my own bills to pay. I was on my own now, for real, for real. I just got hired at a new job and I was working another job. Then I just went and found another job. I was working three jobs, y'all. Yes, I was. A sister was determined to pay her bills. And something started to happen. I believe my weight started to creep back up and the anxiety started to come back. I, I, I actually struggled with anxiety for years when I was um, late teens, early 20s. Another video for another day. And I notice after I would get home from work, whatever it may be. I started to de develop this habit and come back to this habit of binging and restricting. It came back. And I look back at it now and I can confidently say it came back because of all the pressure I was putting on myself. And not only just the pressures of life, but I started to focus in on my weight again. I started to focus on looking a certain way at a certain amount of time and a certain number on the scale. It's okay to have goals. It's okay to have health and wellness goals. But me and my personality type, I am all or nothing and I can get a bit obsessive, <laughs> I'm being honest. So for me, I came back home, I saw that I wasn't as active. I believe the weights began to slowly creep back on as I was working now a desk job um, for most of the hours of the day and eating pretty good. <laughs> you know, me and my coworkers, we would go to certain, um, we would order out at certain lunch places, we eat together, or I would go to my favorite place here, I would eat this. And I started to notice, and this is, a, this is I can't believe I'm about to share this. <sighs> Around this time in my life, I'm working three jobs, I'm living on my own. The pressures of being an adult is kicking in to high drive. And I started to develop this very vivid image in my mind, a habit. Every Friday after the end of the week, it was like, oh, it's time to relax after a long week of work. 
going back to old habits. I began to, man, I can't believe I'm sharing this with you guys. Every Friday for a long time, I would, after I came back from work, I would go to a little pizza shop nearby. I would get a whole cheese pizza. Next door, I would go to the donut shop nearby. I would get 12 count of donuts and maybe one other little thing. I'll go home, I smash all of it. The binges came back. And most of it, if not all of it, would be gone that night. The following morning, after I wake up from my food coma, feeling physically ill, <laughs> mentally drained and guilty and ashamed and con condemning myself, I planned out my next fast my next way of life diet after the fast as well. The cycle was back in full effect. It was back in full effect. It got so bad to where I would do that almost every Friday. And I'm sure there was a, a binge or two in the middle of the week as well, but every Friday, I remember Fridays. And this is, oof, this is some heavy stuff. Like, I really cannot believe I'm sharing this, but it has to be said. And then I would start a fast right after, but it would be so unsuccessful <laughs> by God's grace. Again, not for spiritual reasons. At this point, no, it's all for vanity. It's all just to lose weight. So I, I strive, okay, <sighs> I woke up the next morning, I feel terrible. Next day, I'm not eating anything. I'm gonna start a fast. Let's just do seven days on juice, seven days on water, whatever it was. And I would get to like a day and a half and I'd be hungry, which your body naturally needs food. And I was just like, whatever, now I just eat whatever I wanted, and beat myself up for that. And I said, okay, I'm gonna try again. Then Friday comes around. So I'm back in the cycle. This went on for months and months and months and months and months and months to where the, so I got to the point where I look back and I think I climbed all the way back up to like 180 something. That was a very low, low time in my life. Um, one day on my lunch break at my main job, I went to um, a little deli and got like a, a vegetarian Philly cheese steak sandwich or something with fries, my usual, and like a fruit punch or something. I don't know what I had. I remember, it's like something, just something. I was just like, I felt the need to just look this up, like eating uncontrollably or overeating or eating a lot. I don't know what I put in the Google search engine, but what came up was binge eating disorder. And I was just like, this sounds just like me. This this sounds just like what I'm experiencing. This this is it. This is what I've been doing? I have an eating disorder? Are you serious? No, no, I don't know. Do I? That was in 2012. 2012. That was in 2012 when I actually found out that there was a name for what I was experiencing, what I was suffering with. Now at this point, almost 10 years. Yeah, 10 years, at least five. Um, yes, we'll stop here for today. I told you I was gonna get deep. I hope you're still here. I hope you're still watching. Again, the reason why I'm sharing this is because I feel like my story is um, jam-packed with 
other people's experiences as well. I'm not the only one going through this. I'm not the only one who have gone, has gone through this and come out of it. Thank the Lord I'm out of it now. If you, in case you're wondering, um, I don't struggle with binge eating disorder anymore. I don't have an eating disorder anymore. Um, but that's why I now have the courage and the space to share these videos because of what I have come out of. And I want to share it. So perhaps that you can understand where I, what I was struggling with. Maybe it resonates with you. Maybe it resonates with someone that you know. And um, yeah. Yeah. Thank you for allowing me to share. Thank you for allowing me to be vulnerable and um, create this safe space on this platform for us to just talk. Don't forget the comments. If you're brave enough to share your experience, if you are or have ever struggled with chronic overeating or binge eating disorder or any form of restriction, please share. Other people need to know that they're not alone. That's why I'm making these videos. So I can't wait to talk to you in the comments and I'll see you then, friend. Thank you again for spending time with me. Bye.